Hi there and welcome to our next video on some exam questions to do with diffusion, osmosis and active transport. So our first question states, substances can move into and out of cells. How does oxygen move into and out of cells? Draw a ring around one answer. So the simple answer to this would be diffusion because digestion happens with food and photosynthesis happens in plants and diffusion is how oxygen moves into and out of cells so that will give you your one mark next question diagram one shows the percentage concentration of oxygen in three cells a b and c oxygen can move from cell to cell into which cell a b or c will oxygen move the fastest so remember one of the factors affecting the rate of diffusion is uh, the concentration the difference in concentration so the percentage which is the lowest will make the oxygen move fastest because there will be a higher di difference in concentration so over here cell a has the lowest concentration of oxygen so cell a would be the answer and that will give you your one mark next question how does water move into and out of cells uh, drawing around one answer so the simple answer to this is osmosis as it's the diffusion of water and that will give you your one mark next question gases pass across the wall of the alveolus by and we have three options so uh, fermentation happens with yeast so it won't be that evaporation happens when ev uh, water is evaporating and diffusion is the correct answer because uh, gases travel by diffusion into and out of cells and that will give you a word mark next question Gases diffuse between the leaf and the surrounding air. What is diffusion? So this is a simple two marker and you have to have some key points in it. So diffusion is when the particles are moving randomly. Moving randomly. Um, from an area of higher concentration higher concentration to lower concentration and that will give you your two marks but you can also say it's a net movement and that will make sure you get your two marks next question substances can move into cells and out of cells draw a ring around the correct answer to complete each sentence water moves into cells and out of cells by so the diffusion of water it's osmosis and the water moves through a remember it's a partially permeable membrane because it's a perm it's a membrane with small holes in it and having those two correct answers will give you your two marks next question the plant in figure one has a higher concentration of mineral ions in the cells of its roots and the concentration of mineral ions in the soil. Which two statements correctly describe the absorption of mineral ions into the plant's roots? So this is a question on minerals absorbing into the roots. So let's read them through. The mineral ions are absorbed by active transport. The mineral ions are absorbed by diffusion the mineral ions are absorbed down the concentration gradient um, and the absorption of mineral ions need energy so let's cross out the obvious ones that are not correct remember it says take two boxes so it cannot be the mineral ions are absorbed by diffusion remember gases um, go from cell to cell by diffusion so it can't be this one um, the mineral ions absorb down the concentration gradient. Remember, mineral ions need energy to move and this happens against the concentration gradient. So it can't be this one, which leaves us with these two answers. The mineral ions absorb active transport. Yeah, remember they're moving from an area of lower concentration to an area of higher concentration against the concentration gradient. And because um, they're moving against the concentration gradient, they need energy. And that will give you your two marks. Next question. Use the correct answer from the box to complete the sentence. Oxygen moves from the air inside the lungs into the blood by a process 
of, remember, gases move by diffusion. Active transport happens with minerals and osmosis happens with water. Diffusion will give you your one mark. Next question. Plants transport water and mineral minerals from the roots of to the leaves. Plants move mineral ions from a lower concentration in the soil to a higher concentration in the root cells. What process do plants use to move these mineral ions uh, into root cells? So the simple answer to this would be active transport. That will give you one mark. Next question. Plants must use active transport to move some substances from the soil into root hair cells. Active transport needs energy. Which part of the cell releases most of this energy? Remember, ribosomes are where protein synthesis happens. Nucleus controls the cell. Uh, so mitochondria releases the most energy. And that will give you one mark. Next question. Explain why active transport is necessary in root hair cells. So it is two points you need two points to get the two marks so um active transport is necessary in root hair cells uh, for the movement of minerals the movement of minerals or you can say you you can also say ions um and you have to explain how this happens it needs energy and it happens against the against the concentration gradient if you wanted to you can say active transport as well but you don't need to over here yeah if you wanted to it will just give you the full marks for definite but all you need to say is that and that will give you two marks our last question some plants also carry out active transport give one substance that plants absorb by active transport so you can have minerals or you can have ions you only need to stay one of them and that will give you one mark and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe and hit the like button